morning folks happy Saturday morning this is a good day four shot Starbucks latte made at my own house for 50 cents opposed to 750 with my own espresso machine I got bacon frying on the freaking stove anytime there's bacon frying it's a good day one of my favorite breakfasts is breakfasts is <laughs> One of my favorite breakfast meals to have is bacon eggs, either English, uh, English muffins and toast or butter or whatnot. Just one of my favorite. It just it's home cooking to me. But anyway, that's not what you came here to watch. I'm a little tongue tied. I'm tired. I just woke up. Um, so there's been a lot of um argument about what happened in Virginia, Charlottesville. And it's my contention that the government is actually playing or I don't want to say the government is actually playing it. Could be just professional activist groups assisting in deep state government operations perhaps, but I have a suspicion that they're hiring both sides of the protesters. Now you don't have to listen to me. Get on YouTube, type in Charlottesville protesters, Charlottesville uh, riots and whatnot, and you will see not media, news media reporting of this, but actual people who live there, who filmed it, who reported it, opposed to the news media outlets opposed to Twitter, opposed to people who traveled there for one day to see the protest. We have video online from people from Charlottesville who witnessed mass amounts of buses coming in and letting off various groups of protesters. They parked back to back. Now, if you're opposing teams, if you're opposing and you happen to be violent, you're not going to park next to the other buses, first of all, okay? First of all, you're going to be afraid to get your bus damaged. You're going to park away from your, your enemy, I would think. There was one report where the lady said she filmed, witnessed, basically opposing protesters getting off same, the same buses. Some of them were wearing KKK t-shirts. Now I tell you, I've never heard of a KKK person wearing a t-shirt that said, broadcasted KKK. You know, I've seen them wear the, 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 the hat mantra and maybe the white mask, but I've never seen somebody do this. And that's tr telling me they're trying to be obvious about it and maybe trying to mislead somebody. Hey, KKK, I'm KKK, look at me. Black Lives Matter, same thing, getting off the same freaking buses. Neo-Nazis, white supremacists, they were reported getting off the same lines of buses that were parking back to back. Literally 50 buses in this video I saw. Now you're going to ask me why. Why would somebody play both sides of the fence? Well, for many years now, it's been known that the left creates havoc. They... Uh, they are known for violence. The left wing is just known for being obtrusive, uh, fascist, and violent at protesting, at protest. Actually turning a peaceful protest into riots. Um, Antifa is one example. And for a long time now, the right has had that as a, um, as a good argumentative weapon against the left. It is my contention, my opinion, that the left has gotten tired of that and needed to even even out the playing field, so to speak. Say, no, no, your side is also violent. Look, look at the neo-Nazis and the white supremacists at Charlottesville, Virginia. Yeah, they even say KKK on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... They created this name called Alt-Right. First of all, 
That's bull crap. There's, cons you know, there's middle of the aisle, there there's left, there's middle of the aisle, and there's right. And on both extremes, there's super liberal and super conservative. That's my opinion. But they, they create these names to confuse you, to throw you off the scent. Another trick that they used lately is calling the, they don't call the protesters out anymore by groups when they can help it. Now they call them protesters and anti-protesters. So you don't know who showed up when you're watching the news. When you're watching stupid Fox News or CNN, you don't know who showed up. Oh, uh, protesters and anti-protesters. It lumps them all into one freaking dumb lump, so to speak. When you know one side was protesting for our rights and the other side was protesting to take away our rights. That's the bottom line, folks, what's going on here. And, and how difficult would it be? for somebody who can fund one group to be able to fund another group without either side knowing that they're being funded by the same guy. They go out, they meet, they don't know they're really on the same team. They freaking swing bats and sticks at each other. It's as simple as that, folks. That's my belief. Um, it's been done before with armies, with standing armies. Take care.